Risa, what's your reaction to the, the Gold Glove nominations at two different positions? Did you expect to get nominated, and uh, what do you think of the guys you're up against to win? Um, it was, I was happy about it. Um, you know, I, I feel I've done a pretty good job at defense. I didn't think I was going to get nominated for two. <laughs> but, um, you know, I just pride myself in defense so much that, you know, it's finally getting noticed. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. Overall, how's this trade to the Astros last May just sort of changed your life? Um, got an opportunity here. You've won a championship. You've sort of been able to put yourself on the map. Mm, I think it's, no, it's obviously it was the best thing for my career. I think the opportunity. Um, I was telling somebody today that, yeah, I got smarter. I got, you know, I got a little bit stronger and everything, but my ability hasn't changed. For me, it was just a matter of getting a chance. And thanks to the Astros, Astros gave me a chance to go out there and, you know, show people what I can do. Um, second base, uh, obviously, is a position where you sort of had to fill into. How would you kind of describe your development defensively at second base, and who's been important to maybe your improvement there? Mm, I think, I mean, everybody. I mean, Joe Omar over there, we talk about, I mean, Hosey sometimes, I ask him questions about, you know, situations in the game, and, you know, he's always there for me, asking me, like, you know, just giving me his thoughts about some plays and vice versa. And, and I think just, just watching the game, you know, taking a game at a time and not, you know, not to worry about when you make a mistake and and just go in there and pretty much trust your instincts. I think that's been the biggest thing for me, just trust my instincts. Hey, Mauricio, I'm assistant English and Spanish. Um, you're very versatile, um, obviously. <laughs> it goes without saying two nominations. How much pride do you take in that defensive versatility and uh, and also being able to being able to contribute with the bat. Uh, eres un pelotero bien versátil, eh, obvio, eh, nominado en dos posiciones. Eh, ¿Cuánto orgullo tienes de poder jugar múltiples posiciones a ese nivel y también aportar con el bate? Uh, first, I'll start in English first. Um, I feel very, you know, very, like I said, prideful in what I do in my defense. I take, you know, prepare myself every day, you know, to play whatever position I get to play. If I'm not playing, I think that's the hardest day because I got to prepare for seven positions. So I think that's the, you know, the biggest thing for me, just how, you know, I, I, I try not to make mistakes out defense, but, you know, sometimes it's going to happen. And I'm, I think I'm more okay when I make a mistake, but I know I prepare myself the right way than, you know, when, when I don't prepare myself the right way. Uh, para mí es algo que yo tengo bastante orgullo con, con la defensa, especialmente desde que comencé a jugar varias posiciones. Eh, yo prefiero, si hago un error, lo prefiero hacer cuando me preparo bien, porque los errores van a pasar, eso, eso es parte de, del béisbol, pero más que todo para mí la defensa es una de las razones porque estoy en grandes ligas y el bate ya, ya, está, ya, está, ya está ahí, entonces eso es algo como jugador completo, es muy, muy bonito de ver. Rizzo, listen to you guys yesterday. You feel like you know you're maybe a couple big hits away from the series being in a, in a much different spot. As best you can, can you kind of take us inside the clubhouse? Is it kind of a you know a st still a little bit of, of of confidence despite what the series tally says? Yeah, I mean we are pretty pretty um, confident group in, in all aspects. I mean sometimes happens. Baseball happens sometimes. Well, base is loaded. You don't get a hit. You know during season a lot of that happened. But you know, it's playoffs. You know, it's more it's more magnified. And I think right now is, you know, we are down two games, but you know, confidence still high in the clubhouse. You just gotta take a game at a time. And I think that's the mentality right now. And I think we got a pretty good vibe in the clubhouse. I'm Mauricio. Uh, did your confidence need any rebuilding upon coming to Houston? And if so, did anyone help in that process? Um, yeah, you know, I came from a place that it was no, it was it was kind of shadowy in a sense for me um, as a player. But you know, coming to Houston and watching all these great players—I mean, the Jordan Alvarez, the Jose Altuve—you know, everybody just coming out here, the Breckmans, just having that confidence—you know—that rubs off. And you know, you believe you're the best team in the world, and you know, all of a sudden you start believing you're one of the best players in the world, and you know, that carries, that carries. And I think that's has you know, the mind has a big part of, of, of what I've been accomplishing.